Hi, this is Mark from LongAmmoWatch.com, and today I've got two more Lockos for you. Recently, I featured these new squad divers, the Himalaya, uh, the Atlantic. Uh, I fe featured those in the video and in a newsletter. And in the newsletter, I also showed you a couple of the new Navy watches that they released. I did not do the video on them because I felt that the two kinds of watches really weren't related, excuse me. Uh, but a lot of people actually asked about them. So I'm going to do a quick video on uh, those two Navy watches for my own wrist check and kind of a segue. Here is a 40 millimeter Laco. It's a new style that I actually had them make me. Um, I'll be the only guy carrying these. Uh, it's powered by a uh, Miyota. 90-15 or you know one of the higher end 28,000 feet per hour. Miyota movements got a nice silver dial, 40 millimeter case, beautiful kind of silverish, brownish strap. Just looks really good. Uh, so look for these, hit the website, and, and I'll, I'll, of course, obviously a full in-depth review. I pulled this guy back out of the watch box. Uh, my Maxi Marine chronometer, I missed it. Love it. This is uh Easily one of my favorite watches, definitely, obviously, the blue, uh, but I just love the styling of it. It's so different. Uh, so let's head on over and check out these uh, two Laco Navy watches. So let's get into both of these watches. I've got the white dial and the black dial, the Cuxhaven and the Bremerhaven here to show you. As usual, they're pretty much the same watch, uh, just differing in the uh, dial and the hands. Start with the Cuxhaven. This is model number 862104. You can see the price is $1,190. Um, and we'll wait till we get into the specs of this one so you can appreciate uh, the price. Uh, it's hand winding um, the Laco 98 movement, which is basically a Unitas 6498 movement. They're called Navy watches because they resemble watches worn by the Navy uh, many, many decades ago. Uh, the, um, the size of the watch, excuse me, is 42 and a half millimeters in diameter, it's 13 thick. It's around 49 on the tip to tip. It is a 22 millimeter lug. It is sapphire crystal anti-reflective on the front. Sapphire crystal on the back. Look at that beautiful movement. And we'll get into the movement in a second. Nice light brown strap. Like I said, 22 millimeter. Sign Laco buckle. Water resistance uh, goes, it, it says it here, but it's 100 meters or 10 atmospheres. And man, it is really <laughs> just a beautiful watch. Look at the crown, the Laco L, the design of it. Uh, so as I was saying, it's powered by the Unitas 6498. There's Unitas 6497 and 6498. They only differ in the position of the subdial for these seconds. Basically consider the preeminent pocket watch movement of uh, yesteryear. Still being manufactured, Unitas is owned by ETA now. Now it's a 17 joule, you can see it there, hand winding movement and such a satisfying wind when you wind it, you can see the gears moving. This is not just a stock Unitas, it's got Geneva stripes, thermally blued screws, a real pleasure to look at. It's, it truly is a gorgeous, gorgeous movement. I, I used to sell watches with the Unitas when I started in this business 15 plus years ago and even back then without the made in Germany pedigree the watches were 400 bucks or so. Uh, so this watch has first of all look at the dial it's beautiful white enamel dial gorgeous thermally blued hands look at the numbers we'll turn out the lights later to get a loom shot so you can see what's going on there made in Germany at the bottom of the dial Look at the dial. It's like perfection. Look at the hands, the railroad track markings. I feel like with this watch, the refinement on it is worthy of the price tag. Look at the bezel. Look at the case finishing, the crown. Everything about this thing is oozing in quality. I, I truly feel that way. I really do. I just, I think it's the enamel that just starts and then it just follows through to everything else. I'm going to flip it over. I know I still have the sticker on the back. Check out the beautiful movement. Look at those screws. If you've never seen a Unitas movement before, it really is a thing of beauty. Like I said, they're a pocket watch movement, so it's a large movement. It goes to the edges of the case because um, pocket watches really weren't concerned about size because pocket watches were big. Today, obviously, movements are, you know, three quarters of the size. 
and they integrate more components but this was just a very beautiful movement um, because it's a larger movement with a larger balance uh, balance wheel if, if I showed you the balance wheel from a Seiko movement or something uh, actually I might have one one second I happen to have a 7S26 uh, next to me look at the difference in the size of the balance and the one in my left hand is in the foreground, so it's even appearing larger than it really is compared to uh, the other one. Anyway, because it's a uh, larger wheel, has more inertia, it has a slower beat rate, uh, 18,000 beats per hour, I'm pretty sure. That correlates into five ticks per second. Uh, kind of a weird number, but that's the way it is. You know, your, your uh, 8 beats, your 8 ticks per second is 20,800. This is 5 beats per second. So it ticks slower, if you will, or at a lower frequency than your 21,600 7S26 I just showed you. Anyway, so it's something just to keep in mind. There's two thoughts to, you know, larger balance wheels. Some people say they're more accurate. Some people say they're less accurate. Uh, it's kind of funny. Um, but no doubt about it. Let's zoom in again. Gorgeousness in motion. Oh, by the way, look at the indicator for regulation. See how nice that is? How nice point. Gives you a larger frame of reference for when you go to your plus minus for regulation. Anyway, uh, so that is the white dial Coxhaven. And then we go to its cousin, the Bremerhaven. Whoops. And here's the part number. All the same information. We're going to go to a black dot. Oh, I, I know I forgot the loom shot. I did. I'll, I'll do the loom shot in a second. We'll do them side by side. Anyway, very similar. Thermally blued screws on the movement, but we've swapped out for uh, for black hands. A fully loomed second hand, I believe. Uh, and again, just nice refinement. Same. This, this doesn't do it for me, as you can tell, as much as the white one with the blue hands. I just, you know, something about that. But this is very nice in its own right. It's very legible, very readable. Dial is extremely clean. Uh, for some reason, it appears cleaner than the white dial, um, but just simplicity in motion. Beautiful black strap. There's that movement again. Let's flip out the lights, look at them side by side, and then we'll do a wristy. Uh, so for the loom shot, the uh, black one's on the left, the white one's on the right. So there you go. Black on the left, white on the right. I believe everything, let's see, everything's pretty much the same on the loom front, uh, just the seconds hand on the black dial model, like I said, it's fully loomed. And on the white dial model, it is not uh, Super Luminova, obviously. Glows extremely well, extremely, extremely well. And uh, again, just even simplicity in, you know, nighttime viewing. So the last thing I'll do is put it on my wrist and whoops, wrong watch. I just wanted to look at this watch again. I'm sorry, one second. So there she goes on my six and three quarter inch wrist. It fits me fine. I'm actually though on the strap, I'm on the last hole. So you may want to consider that uh, if your wrist is a similar size, but I think if you have a smaller wrist, you may not, um, you may not like the sizing here. For me, it's fine. Uh, but because again, like I've said in the past and no bezel, uh, glass goes to the outside of the watch, just appears larger. Oh my god, totally gorgeous. I love this watch. So that about wraps it up. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you two of the uh, Laco Navy watches. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.